Hey, Monica, this is Sarah. So this is just a continuation of Friday's uh, conversation as it relates to Contact 2, the second deck, and this was the larger conversation item. So some of these are a little more thornier. Uh, let me know if you want to uh, revisit any of them in a conversation or as a story. I'd be happy to do either. So uh, the first bit, let me just bring the deck down. So that way you can see it. Here we go. Move it into present mode. So here we go. The first one is we have a bit of a challenge. Uh, and the, the challenge is that by choosing to go with both volunteer installed packages, we have two fields that offer the same functionality yet with disparate pieces of, or, of information. So uh, NGOC Connect also has uh, the volunteer auto rem reminder email opt out. Uh, and then our friend, the Volunteers for Salesforce, also offers the same functionality. Uh, I could see this as a collision in the future, and this is something we may want to do a little bit of work around. Let me know. The next one is we have two fields that are on the contact that seem to serve the same purpose, and I'm not sure which one we want to continue forward with. We have relation to patient, and then we have familiar relation to patient. I'm not sure how they're different, nor if we need to recast those into relationships. If you'd like, we can definitely uh, can do a deeper dive. The next one. Um, this is relation kind of to, to patient in general. Best practices says we have one contact record per contact record. So if we're, you know, by having two uh, different people represented in the contact record, it, it gets a, a little hard to manage uh, for when you're going forward. For example, um, right now, I can have a patient birthday and a birthday on the contact record, but which one do I use if I'm the patient um, or if I'm a patient record? Do I need to put the same information on both? Then additionally, we have uh, one uh, deceased field, but if the patient is deceased and the contact is enduring, how do I handle that? And the best solution really is to separate those two pieces of information so we actually have two separate contact records. I get that from a data entry uh, perspective, it's, it's not ideal. However, from a data management perspective, it is indeed ideal. And the account contact wizard gets part of the way towards solving that problem. The next one is we have a field called treatment that's not the object that's on the contacts that I'm not sure how to how to handle it. We can take a deeper dive. And then finally, we have a, a custom field called undeliverable. Perhaps we should just archive it. It's not clear to me if that's email, perhaps even fax, uh, phone, or, uh, or snail mail. Just not clear about the purpose. If you know the purpose, then let's just go ahead and migrate it um, in the ways that we've uh, devised for both email and phone as well as snail mail. And then finally, we have our disease-related object um, that we've already spoken in depth about. And that is it for the bigger ticket items or the larger tickets. Let me know if you'd like to have a conversation about any of these. I am